For this fight, we'll be keeping our eye on Community Manager, Slippery Jim. Jim's using vigilant body gear and an armory staff with bound bolt and blob. He has bound wings, and the Solaris Talisman, which, used right, will give him huge movement. He also has the Drawguard Talisman, which will give him buffs for every direct kill he makes. He's chosen the Divine Shield Mega Spell, which, when stacked towards the end of the game, will make him very hard to kill. Hot Carl fails a turn one goblin and moves towards the sprites. DJ Blades takes one look at Jim's gear and decides he would rather die than face him in-game. I don't really have anything useful to cast at this point, so I move towards the sprites and make an air elemental in the hope of using it later in the game. Jim casts wings on his very first turn. This, with the bound bolt, give him great offensive reach, as we'll see in just a moment. And then he moves up to cover the sprites. Hot Carl is obviously very disappointed with his 90% failed goblin, and rushes in towards the sprites, putting him in a bolt range of both Jim and myself. Unfortunately, I don't have bolt. So I make an elf to cover the sprites, and then retreat. Jim, on the other hand, rushes in swinging. The punch fails, but of course, Jim has bound bolt. And this is sufficient to finish the job. Jim now has around 50 mana from the close quarters wizard kill and control of all the sprites. This is bad news for me because the mana will let him boost all of his subsequent spells, and the sprites will let him activate his talismans. I'm now going to cast a mount to protect myself from a direct attack from Jim. And then watch in horror as Jim uses stacked wings to increase his movement to 4, 5, and then 6 via the Solaris Talisman. He then gets the next sprite and uses the mana from that sprite to activate the Drawguard Talisman, which will make him stronger for every subsequent kill that he makes. Dragon was pretty much my only hope at this point, I think. Jim ignores the dragon and tries to kill my unicorn, presumably hoping to follow it up with a direct attack on my wizard. When this fails, he runs away. I move my dragon up into an attack position, try and support it with my elf, and make a pegasus, which I'm hoping to use to support the dragon in the next turn. Jim sees this, casts sword, and kills the dragon before I can get the Pegasus into position. The kill will have given him more mana and increased his defense. This will make it very hard for the elf to kill him, even from an elevated position. Jim has taken a risk here because he's allowed me to get into bolt range, but because of his high defense, uh, my bolt is perhaps 40%. And so it fails. Uh, this is where I'm going to pause the game and uh, just skip on to the end. Uh, Jim spends the rest of the game stacking shields from his armory staff to keep him alive, and stacking swords to make kills to further buff his stats. By the end of the game, my best attacks had around a 4% chance of success. Jim was meanwhile either using his huge agility to keep me pinned, uh, and having huge attack and defense stats starting to cast creatures. He's blobbed me, so I can't support my elves. He's moved over to kill the elves, further buffing his stats. And making a paladin to take care of the other elf. Uh, I've managed to cast under the mount, but it's not doing me any good. And the game will end... ...with me... ...on the end of Jim's Mighty Blade. Well played, Slippery Jim.